Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be chatting to you guys about how to stay safe in the modeling world and also a few ways that you can protect yourself and make sure that you avoid getting yourselves into weird situations. The modeling industry is incredible and I'm not bashing it in any way. However, there are predators out there who are waiting to take advantage of someone who is young, naive, driven and inspired to succeed in this industry. And I just want to share a few things to help you guys so that you don't find yourselves in some sticky situations. So let's get into the video. Alright, so if you've applied to an agency and then they say that they like you and they want you to come and meet at their offices, I would definitely recommend going with a friend, a parent or a legal guardian. If this isn't possible, then I would suggest sharing your live location with your close family and friends so that everyone knows where you are. On WhatsApp, there's a feature to share your location with your loved ones. So then your family will be able to track your whereabouts for quite a few hours. Number one would be to have someone accompany you. You can also do some research to see where the office building is and share the actual physical address with someone who's close to you so that they know your whereabouts and they know where you are and can track you if maybe you've gone quiet or things are a little bit weird. So if you are planning a shoot with a photographer, I will definitely suggest taking someone along with you. Don't ever go to a shoot alone if you can help it. Again, share the location with someone close to you if you are unable to have someone go with you. But the best bet is to go with someone, inform the photographer that you'll be bringing either your mom or your friend, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. Just give them a heads up so that they know and also this will give you a chance to see how they react to it if a photographer strongly feels like no I don't want anyone else on set this is a big red flag and I would suggest not going if that's the case because that's really weird behavior if a photographer is professional and if they are good at their job they won't have an issue with you bringing someone along just to accompany you for your own safety if someone DMs you on Instagram or sends you a message on Facebook or even gets your number maybe after scouting you at a mall and they start asking you to send nude or semi-nude selfies or images of yourself this is a huge red flag definitely do not send this through a client or an agent will never ask you for nude images and if they do there's a big problem there and you should definitely report them just to give you a little bit more context on some things that your agency may ask you for, which is Polaroid images. Now, Polaroids, I'll insert some of mine over here so that you can see. They are pictures of you in your natural state. It's to see how your body looks, how your skin, your hair, your nails look, just to see how everything is doing. There's very minimal makeup and hairstyling and even fashion styling as well. It's very basic images. Some of them are done in a bra and underwear or in your bikini. And then there'll also be another set of Polaroids in a tight vest and jeans as well. So these images do not get sent nude or half nude. But this is just to give you some context in terms of some images images where you may have to remove your clothes usually in a safe environment and your agency will make sure that this is done well for you in a way where you feel comfortable and you know where these images are going to be sent if you're ever on set and you start to feel extremely uncomfortable or you start to feel like you may be in danger I would suggest that you leave the set immediately don't be afraid of what the client may think or what your agency may think. If you feel like something bad may happen, there's no problem for you to leave the set. Just make sure that your safety is put first. If alcohol is being served at a photo shoot, I would suggest declining. I think that it becomes problematic when you start drinking while working because now your guard is low, you aren't on alert anymore and you become less vigilant. This is when you can be taken advantage of, especially by predators who are watching your every move and I must remind you that predators aren't only in the form of like creepy looking dude. Predators can also be females, females who are working with other males to maybe lure you in. And so it's important to always be vigilant and to always be aware of your surroundings. If we are talking about drinking on set, I'll probably have a glass of champagne when the shoot is done as a celebratory drink. And usually this is only done with people who I've worked with for a number of years and completely trust. You'll never find me drinking on set with people who I've just met. I think it's irresponsible and it can definitely put you in a very vulnerable position. And the last thing I would suggest is definitely doing a self-defense course so that you know how to defend yourself if you're in a situation where you can't grab your phone or where you can't get away and you need to physically protect yourself self-defense courses are so important for that and then definitely getting 
pepper spray or a taser or both um, this is good because it's something that you can have on hand to just quickly grab out of your bag and you know either taste someone or use the pepper spray so that you can get away and actually be able to protect yourself all right so I hope this video didn't scare you too much as I was going through it, it really started becoming quite real and you know just reminding me of the world that we live in of course there is danger everywhere in the world and I just wanted to share a few things to help you to remain vigilant because models are definitely big targets for predators and it's very easy to manipulate someone who's young someone who's naive someone who's new to the industry someone who has big dreams and who wants to succeed that is a perfect person for a predator because it's so easy to manipulate them so if that's you if you're new and you don't know much about this industry it's so important that you remember the things that I've just shared with you today it's very easy for people to approach you and sense the type of person you are and you know maybe get Get to know you on Instagram maybe someone starts talking to you and and they say that they're this big photographer and you just never know what people's intentions are so it's really important to do your research to stay alert it's important to also equip yourself with something like pepper spray or a taser so you can protect yourself and also to do some self-defense courses or even boxing or kickboxing or you can watch something online just to help you so that you are always alert always prepared you'll be able to protect yourself in some of these situations. I don't want you to walk around feeling all scared and you know not taking on opportunities but more than anything this video is here to help you and to just remind you to always be vigilant, to always double check, triple check, share your location with the people who are closest to you because you just never know what could happen out there. Alright, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you. I know it's not as upbeat and as exciting as majority of my videos, but I felt that it was very important to share this with you and talk to you guys about this. Of course, there's so many other things you can do. This is just a little concise list of some of the things that I do, some of the things that I'm aware of, some of the things that my other friends do as well to stay safe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm back to my normal schedule of uploading every single week. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!